The exhibition Food Bigger Than The Plate poses questions about how the collective choices we make could lead to a more sustainable, fair and delicious food future than the one that's currently on offer. We wanted to have an example of urban farming in action and it turns out that um, growing mushrooms on coffee grounds um, is a really smart form of urban farming because um, very often in the city you don't have access to good soil but there's an absolute abundance of used coffee grounds and those coffee grounds don't have to go to landfill and um, they're still um, packed with nutrients and they actually create a really great substrate for growing mushrooms on. So in the gallery and the exhibition, we are growing very beautiful and very delicious oyster mushrooms, but growing them on used coffee grounds that um, originate in our cafe. And then the mushrooms um, that we're growing, we're harvesting and feeding back to our visitors in the cafe. The V&A has been recycling its coffee grounds um, for quite a long time, so this is a way of, um, of celebrating that. Um, and it's also been a really great chance to work with um, our colleagues in Benugo who run the, the V&A Cafe and to, to link up what we're doing in the gallery with what our visitors are actually eating in the cafe. Last year we prepared uh, half a million coffees at the V&A and that is about uh, seven, seven and a half tonnes of coffee. We've been working with GrowCycle, who are the UK experts in mushroom growing and producing oyster mushrooms from um, coffee grounds. The process for growing the mushrooms involves collecting the used coffee grounds, mixing them with another substrate, um, sawdust or straw, for example, and then mixing with that is the mushroom spore that contains um, the mycelium. And the first stage is the incubation. So the bags are kept in the dark for around 10 days to two weeks and then they're ready for the fruiting phase, um, which takes around a week, and that's what's happening um, in the gallery. It is a great way for us uh, to ensure the quality of the mushroom. Uh, our head chef goes daily uh, to look after the bags, look after the mushroom themselves. He can touch them and feel when they are actually ready to be harvested, and then uh, use the, the prime uh, at the peak of the quality. Visitors are quite surprised to come into um, a gallery and see mushrooms growing. Normally we try to stop things <laughs> growing within the museum. There is something really magical about being in a, in a gallery space, which is usually pretty static, um, and then sort of seeing this kind of, this life form <laughs> sprout out the bags. It's really great to see that nutrient cycle actually happening in, in the museum. So we have our customers drinking coffee, we have the mushrooms growing in the gallery, and then back in the cafe and we're seeing people eating them. They do taste really good and I think it's really important that um, we remember that deliciousness has to be a key criteria for any future food system as a goal in its own right, but also we're not gonna change anything if we neglect to make it taste good.